people I'll be chilling in a really warm hot tub with, okay? I reject the Christian God on the basis that he is a child murderer. All right. Well, in light of the fact that he sent his son, his only son, to bleed and die on a cross for you, don't you think you better go back and re-examine your assumption that he gives children smallpox? Assumption? Absolutely false. God has never given smallpox or cancer or HIV to any little child. You're right. In Exodus All right, well, then why did you say that God gave smallpox to children? God has never given smallpox. He's never given cancer. He's never given spina bifida to any child. Stop interrupting. Have the bit of respect for me if you claim to be a thinking person. No, I don't interrupt you constantly. I'm listening to you, and then I'm answering your question. And then when you interrupt me, you accuse me of not answering your question, which is intellectually dishonest of you. There's another attack? All right. No, it's a fact. All right, fine. I'm intellectually dishonest. You just, keep going. You just do not listen to a response. Keep going. No, I'm finished okay. now. Well, then your argument, is that, your argument then is that Jesus washes God's hand. And by the way, when I was going to say you're right, that was to make a joke that he skipped smallpox altogether in Exodus and just killed the I don't like your sense of humor, so keep making well, your point. Okay? I know you don't, because it impugns God. Yeah, it's incredibly arrogant for you to attack God, all right? No, I think God it's a attacks joke. us all the time. He gave you the gift of life. He, gave he you loves you so much, he wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. No, he threatens Why do you hate him so? Because he threatens me. No, he if offers exists. you eternal life. On the threat of eternal damnation no. fire. The only reason you will go to hell is if you don't want to live your life together with God. Wrong. Then if you don't want to live your life together with God, you'll spend eternity separate from Him. But that's not God's decision, that is your decision. Just like if someone held a gun to my head and ordered me to do something and I refused to do it, you're saying that I chose to take the bullet to the head. It was my choice. Am I choosing? Would anyone here choose like be like, oh yeah, hell sounds great. I want to burn for eternity. No, that's a forced choice. That is what we call coercion. It's a coerced choice because it's not just carrot. You harp on carrot all day, but there's a giant flaming stick called hell. It is not a carrot. It is called growing up. Ah. Guess what? If you guys party, 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 you will flunk, flunk, flunk. Not because they've threatened you but because there are standards. And you fell short of the standards, you didn't study, you partied, 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 you flunked, flunked, flunked. Part of growing up means, part of becoming a mature adult means, that you begin to grapple with the fact that there are consequences of your decisions. Oh my gosh. Great point. What horrible, horrible news. You're free to decide to do whatever you want to do, but you're not free to escape the consequences of your decisions. So if you choose to spend your life separate from God, you will spend eternity separate from God. The Bible calls that hell.